Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here, and uh, I've always been a big supporter of uh, women's rights and equality and all that good stuff. So I thought for this uh, scenario, we'd look at something kind of interesting, and that is uh, a question that's actually been asked before. And that is, uh, could a woman play in the NBA? And when I, when I say play, guys, okay, before we get to that, let's talk about who we're going to be looking at here. Um, I think the best chance of any woman to play in the NBA, I mean, I'm sure there's other players out there that I don't really know about because of my uh, WNBA lore knowledge is not all that great. But one player that I think could do something is uh, Brittany Griner. And she actually plays for Phoenix. And uh, yeah, don't don't mind my, my, my player creation. Um, it's not exactly the greatest, but hey, I don't think I could pass a second grade art class. Um, but I don't think it was bad. But uh, Brittany Griner, 6'9", shot blocker, can hustle out there. And uh, just kind of scrappy out there. Um, she, I don't know what she played at Baylor. She dominated in college. And really, the, the question is not, could Brittany Griner be a superstar in the NBA? I don't think that would happen, at least not anytime soon. But could Brittany Griner be more valuable to the Phoenix Suns than, uh, let's see here, Chase Budinger or Allen Williams or maybe uh, you got uh, Bruno Capaloco on the... Uh, you know, the Raptors there, or Joel Anthony, man. I'd rather have Brittany Griner on my team than Joel Anthony. So, you know, it's just kind of interesting to look at. Um, so, take a, take please take this simulation with a grain of salt, guys. This is more just for fun. I made Brittany Griner a 78 over, oh, 77, but she's actually get this plus one uh, rate of boost in here. But I made her a shot blocker and rebounder and stuff like that. I mean, I'm, I, I get her 99 dunking, guys, just because um, <laughs> I remember, like, in college, when she was, like, playing college ball, and she was, like, throwing down dunks and stuff. It was really cool to see. Um, just because, you know, when you watch a WNBA game or you watch a uh, women's basketball college game or something like that, it's more based on fundamentals. It's like watching a team full of Tim Duncans out there, you know, doing layups and doing all the smart stuff out there. Um, so when you saw Brittany Griner, you know, throwing shots back and kind of bringing a kind of a flair, a little bit of swagger to uh, women's basketball, it was very cool to see. So we're going to go ahead, guys, and I put her on the Phoenix Suns because she plays for Phoenix in WNBA and see how she does. Uh, I made her 77 overall, so she'll probably be, do decent, probably more decent than she actually won in real life. Um, but yeah, just wanted your guys' thoughts, and uh, psh, we already got trade offers, man. <laughs> the damn uh, Golden State Warriors are already offering up trades to get Brittany Griner on their team. They're like, man, this is a good PR move right here, man. <laughs> We're going to disable trades there real quick. Um, but yeah, do you guys think a woman could have success in the NBA? And I, it, it, it's really cool to see, um, you know, the coaches and all that stuff. You, of course, you got what's her name on the San Antonio Spurs, uh, Becky. You know, Coach Becky, which uh, Greg Popovich, much props to him to giving her a chance. And the players love her out there, guys. So, you know, I, I think it definitely would we would see a uh, women's head coach before we ever saw a women's player on a team. And you know, you know, I, I was actually thinking about this. This might be going a little bit off basketball top right here. Uh, but there's been a lot of uh, talks lately about like transgender equality and stuff like that. You know, what, what, what do you do, especially from like a in like school and stuff like that, from the mindset of a uh, man might identify himself as a woman? And uh, like, I don't know much about transgender guys, but um, I, I do know that people say it's kind of like just who they are. It's who they feel like they are. So if you have a man that identifies as a woman and dresses like a woman and does all that procedures to make them you know, more womanish, for lack of a better term. But then he says, hey, I want to play basketball. It's like, he probably wants to play women's basketball because that's how he identifies as. But this dude might be looking like LeBron James out there. So it's like, how, how do you handle that? Um, just kind of, kind, of, kind of interesting to really think about. And it's a road that probably will be crossed eventually. You, you have, I've, I mean, I've heard stories of, uh, you know, girls wanting to play like on the football team and stuff like that and being denied, which I think is just asinine. If a girl wants to go out there, you know, don't treat her like a girl, though. I'm tackle her. You know, it's uh, I'm all for equality, guys. If a girl wants to put herself in a position to um, play in a men's sport, it ain't going to go easy on her. That's her choice, but you you grant her that choice, assuming she can live up and help, you know, be successful and help the team. I mean, just because a girl wants to play football doesn't mean she can help that football team. Just like, you know, little Crispy Flakes back in ninth grade trying out for the goddamn basketball team got cut. I'm not a girl. I just suck that basketball. <laughs> Although I did go on to uh, play, you know, in some other leagues, and uh, yeah, I, I was part of a few blowouts. Don't get me wrong, but I also had my fair share of 20 plus point games. So you know, at five nine, um, I do pretty good out there myself. So I just thought that'd be kind of interesting to look at here. I don't know why it's taking so damn long to simulate here. I only got 2K with their damn loan screens, but it gives us plenty of time to talk about things here. So uh, it's not actually looks like we're making the playoffs. So like I said, we're this the video's more just to talk about it and whatnot, guys. 
and uh let's go up to the all-star break right here we'll do that we'll do this last game against the gold state warriors simulate through date and uh just see how this team is doing just kind of want to sit you guys here and you know where this team's not making playoffs we're 10th in the conference and we're gonna take a lot of l's here but uh let's just go ahead and take a look at the uh, stats here for Brittany grinder and uh player stats okay so according to 2k she averaged about 8.7 points about 8.4 rebounds see at 6 9 man i mean i i bet she grabbed some boards and uh 1.6 blocks a game so pretty good numbers overall um i don't think she weighs 274 pounds i didn't really know what weight she was and i don't think weight really matters on this game all that much anyway um but yeah I, I, it, it'd be you know I, I would love to see a maybe just like an expedition game or something where you just let a girl play on a team just see how they do out there man because i don't play in basketball in the past uh, i've played against girls and stuff just like for fun uh, damn, I'm getting busted on, guys. Like, freaking drink some threes on me, take me to the hole and all that stuff. It's like, what do I do, man? I can't play no damn defense. Um, but, you know, you got a little, uh, you got a little, what, what do we got? What's, what's a good example? Um, man, we don't got really no good example here. So, okay, Pablo Prigoni, man, 38 years old. I guess 6'3", so he's kind of tall. Let, let, let's say uh, you got, like, man, we need, we need, like, a really short player here. Some dude that's, like, maybe, like, 5'9", or something like that, driving to the back. Now Isaiah Thompson is a beast. Um... I think Brittany Grind could throw that shot back if she really wanted to. But anyway, guys, give me your thoughts on this. Uh, sorry if I wrote everybody the wrong way with this video. It's just my thoughts on equality. I thought it was an important thing to send and a good way to do it. That really follows and reflects the theme of my channel. Thank you guys almost for watching. Be sure that like button if you're a supporter of equality and women's rights. And peace out, my friends.